Welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with a small and quick tip regarding the usage of our computer. And in this particular case, the way that we can and sometimes we don't use some of the functionalities. We are talking about the voice typing and it works great and it's really easy to use and the possibilities are endless just to relax, think and talk and let our computer do all the work for us. Now, if you are using Windows 10 or 11 and still haven't activated, don't forget to check out Keys Fan, where you can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen, you will get an extra discount. Now, that being said, let's go to our screen. Here we are on Windows 11 desktop and with only Notepad open, but I will show you in just a few moments a few ideas. Let's bring in the tool that we want, which is the voice typing tool. So for that, we will press Windows plus H. And at this moment, everything that I say, including the first H that I mentioned, will be used to write the text that I want. Next line, next line. And there are several commands, which I will share with you in just a few moments, that will help us to compose our text. And as I was saying at the beginning, uh, we are with the notepad open, but I could simply be using my mail app or even a browser with my Gmail account, and I could compose any email. And one of the things that I do notice is, although I do write fast, I do not write as fast as I think and as I talk. And this is just an example so that you can see how good this tool is. And hopefully it will give you the energy to test it out and to try it out. If it happens like me, it will open a different possibility and will make our workflow a lot faster. So there are a few errors right over here, but those errors were the ones that I did make. So my suggestion is next line, next line. As I was saying, my suggestion is simple. For the experience that I had, which is limited and small, I would say that with time, if we push and if we try this tool, we will learn a lot and it will improve our workflow. And hopefully this little bit that I'm recording this video right over here is helpful enough for that. Now, one of the things that you should have in mind is that English is not my native language. So there are a few things right over here that will not go according. But even with that small limitation, what I do feel is that it works really Great. Now, at this moment, if I want to stop, I just need to pause for a little bit. Stop dictation. And there we go. It did stop our dictation. So this was really, really cool. Now, things that I would like to share with you is that we have some options right over here. We have the auto punctuation enable, which in my opinion is a must because we don't want to go back and do everything or we don't want to give those commands, which is boring. We can also uh, enable the voice typing launcher. And basically what happens is that when we launch it and if I, cl if I click out of a app that will not allow me to use text, it will disappear. But if I press on any app and it can be Word or anything like that, it will appear automatically and we can just start uh, our voice recognition. Besides that, we also have an interesting option and let's disable this right over here. Let's press Windows and H and let's stop it. If we press the help button or the learn more button, it will take us to a page where it will show us the uh, help tool. Now, I was, as I was saying, I'm not native English, so it's appearing in Portuguese, but we just need to go to the language that we use and we will have all the commands that we need. And those commands include the next line and start a new paragraph and things like that. So hopefully this will give you the tools that are enough to start typing and start working with this great tool that, in my opinion, will improve a lot your workflow. Now, there is one more tip that I want to share with you. And for that, let's close this window and don't save. And right over here, let's search for voice typing. And on the voice typing, I want to enable 
the window speech recognition. This is really interesting. At this moment is sleeping, but we can say start listening. Start listening, open edge, maximize window, Google News, enter. Actually, it was not Muse, it was News, but this is one of my limitations. Close window. Close edge. Maximize window. Close window. Stop listening. So hopefully this was also a start. Now, for some of the options that we have, you can press right button of your mouse and then you have some options right over here, including the help and the speech tutorial that will give us some pointers and will allow us to know the commands that we want to use. And basically, this is it. And I really hope that the video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. Besides hoping for it to be helpful, don't forget to try it out and see if it works for your workflow. And if it does, leave a comment down below. And if it doesn't, leave a comment down below why it doesn't fit on your workflow. If you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing it so, which will allow us to grow this small channel into a little bit bigger channel. That being said, my name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.